Uh, you're welcome to uh, this lecture. Now, in this lecture, we want to look at some properties of the modulus of the complex number. Okay? So, we've already defined what the modulus of the complex number is. Now, this says that given two complex numbers, Z and W, the following hold, right? This, the first one says that the absolute value of Z squared is equal to the product of Z and the conjugate of Z, uh, which you can turn into this. Uh, this says that the modulus of the product is equal to the product of the modulus. Okay? The, um, the modulus of Z over W is the modulus of Z divided by the modulus of W. The modulus of Z squared is equal to the modulus of Z squared. Alright? And this says that the modulus of the complex number is the same as the modulus of the negative of the complex number. If I negate the complex number and find the modulus, it's the same as that. And if I find the modulus of the complex number, it's going to be equal to the modulus of the, um, the conjugate. All right? So uh, we'll prove um, some of these properties. I'm going to prove uh, maybe one and two, uh, and then probably five, and then you can try three and four. OK? So number one. Number one, um, this says that z squared is equal to z, z bar. All right, you can get this from that. So let's let's do this. So often what you want to do is you want to let your complex number z be equal to s a a plus b i. You can use x and y, whatever. Okay. Um, you have less. Um, if that's a z, then of course the conjugate is easy. It will be a minus b. Great. Now I want to show that the product of this and this is equal to this. I mean, you can go this way or that way. Let's start with this. So let's find z multiplied by z bar. That will be equal to a plus b i multiplied by a minus b i. Right? Which implies this is equal to just expand this. This gives me a squared. Okay? That gives you minus a b i plus a b i. This is minus, but i squared is minus, so that is plus b squared. Okay? This guy cancels out this guy, which implies this is just a squared plus b squared. Okay? Now, it's easy to see that this is actually the modulus of z squared. Okay? Okay, let's call this z z bar. Let's call this equation one, right? Now, what is the modulus of z? The modulus of z is equal to the square root, right? Of a squared and b squared. Which implies that the square, the modulus of z squared would just be a squared plus b squared. You see? See that 1 and 2 are equal, right? So 1 is equal to 2, which implies that the modulus of z squared is equal to, um, what is this? Z, z bar. Okay? So we have proved Um, Let's do, um, let's do 2, okay? So let's, let's do 2. Two says um, let me get rid of this space. We have property two says that Z is the product of Z absolute value of Z and X. Okay. Um let's see. I'm going to remove this one for now. If there's time, we'll prove it so that, okay? So let's leave this uh, here, okay? So you do the same thing here now. Let's represent Z and W by some two complex numbers, right? So we can let, let Z be uh, our usual B, B, I, and we can let W be a different um, complex number. Let's call it X and Y, okay? And then we want to want to prove want to prove that. So, okay. Now, so what we can do is find the product z times w 
find the argument of that and see whether that's the fault of this. So z times w will be this and this, a plus b i multiplied by x plus y i, right? So expand x, that gives me a s, this gives me a y i, this gives me x b, uh, b x i, this and this will be minus because of i squared minus b y. Okay? Now I can group the real and imaginary parts. So I have ax and I have minus by, right? And then those with the i's, I have a y here and I have bx. Ah, okay? Let's move to this side. Okay. So, so note that uh, the product of z and w gives me a complex number with the real part and an imaginary part. So I can find the um, I can find the modulus of that. All right, the modulus of z and w. Note that this will be called the square root of this squared plus this squared. Well, I want to avoid doing the square roots. Right? So I'm just going to square this. So this square will just be this square plus that square. So this will be equal to ax minus by all of this square plus ay plus bx squared. Okay, so let's expand this and see what we get. This is a squared x squared minus 2ab. Y, right? Square this, that is B squared, now Y squared. We get to this, this is A squared, Y squared plus 2 ABXY plus the square of this B squared, X squared. Okay? Now, straight away, you see that this cancels out that, right? And so we are left with, um, let's see, I can combine the terms with the X, right? So this will give me a squared plus b squared multiplied by x squared, right? This and that. And then this and this will give me, I have um, a squared, b squared, I can factorize y squared. Okay? Now again, you see that a squared b plus b squared is common, so I can factorize that out. So this gives me a squared, b squared, then I have x squared plus y squared. Okay? Now note that this quantity here is the modulus of z squared, and that is the modulus of w squared. I'll uh, show that, right? So here, if you find notes, note that the modulus of z squared, right? Modulus is the square root, so if I square it, I'm going to have a squared plus b squared, and then the modulus of w squared will be this square plus that square. Okay? So this one here is actually modulus of z squared, that is the modulus of w squared. Therefore, z w squared will be equal to modulus of z squared modulus of w squared. So I can take the square root of both sides and I can get the modulus of z w. And that proves uh, property in uh, two. Okay? So that is that is the proof of it. Um, let's see. This is straightforward. Let's quickly do this. It's, it's, not, it's not hard, it's, uh, it's kind of straightforward. So let's prove that. Um, and then move on. So property five says um, the modulus of this is the same as the modulus of this. And the modulus of z is the same as the modulus of the um, conjugate. Alright? So do the same thing as before. Let z be a plus b i. Of course, we know the modulus of z. Alright? Well, before I do this, 
negative z will be minus b minus b right? Okay. So find this and find this and show that they're equal. Continuous of this is the square root of a square and b square. Modulus of minus z, square root of negative a square, negative b square, right? But negative a square is a square, and this is also a square. Okay? So this is equal to that. Therefore, okay? you can do the same thing for this. Note that z bar is equal to a minus b i, right? So that the modulus of z bar is equal to the square root of a squared, a squared, plus negative b squared is b squared. And that is also equal to z. So this is why the z is also equal to z bar. All right, so that's kind of straightforward. So try um, the other two properties, uh, three and four, and see whether you can prove it. Straightforward, you can follow the same procedure. Okay? Um, I think in the next lecture, we'll talk about, um, we'll talk about how you find the argument. So far, we've been talking about the modulus of the co complex number. We want to look at the, um, the argument of it, or the angle, the direction of the complex number. Okay?